Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the new features and changes included on Windows 10 build 18.3.17. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 19.03 expected to release sometime in 2019. Now let's have a closer look at the most important changes in this release. In this preview there is not a lot going on but starting with build 18.3.17 the start menu now runs in its own separate process which is called start menu experience host.exe. You can see the new process on Task Manager, more specifically on the uh, Details tab. And according to Microsoft, this will reduce issues using the experience and it will simplify debugging when making changes to the uh, Start menu. Although we have seen this in the past, now it's official. Cortana and Search are splitting up into two separate experiences. As many users didn't like the idea of Cortana taking over the Search on the PC. You can see now on the taskbar, now you have a button to open Cortana right into the uh, voice experience and you get a button to open the search experience to search files on your computer or to get web suggestions. Of course, you can switch between apps, documents, emails, web, and everything in between. And if you click the uh, more options, you get more filters for search. Another interesting change with build 18.3.17, it's on the uh, settings app, which now includes an updated page for the uh, Windows Insider program settings. This new page has been redesigned to remove clutter and just to make things easier to understand. Uh, for example, now it's much easier to understand and to opt out of the experience by just turning off this option. And what this option will do is uh, you will still be getting updates, but until the uh, next major release of Windows 10. So once a new release of Windows 10 comes out, it will start on your computer and you will no longer receive preview views for upcoming versions. Also, now it is easier to see what kind of previews are you getting. And for example, now I'm subscribed to the fast ring, as you can see right here. And if I want to change this, I just click here and this will take me to this page where I can switch to the different rings. Uh, for example, slow, fast and release preview. According to Microsoft, other new changes include the ability to install fonts just by dragging and dropping the file into, into this section. But that's something that has been around for a while. Also on Windows Update, while you won't see major changes, now the ability to pause updates, it's available also for users running the Windows 10 Home Edition. If you go to when you go to the color filters page, you will now see a warning if you're using the nightlight feature, letting you know that if you don't turn that feature off, whenever it enables automatically, it will affect the color filter that you're using. On the next version of Windows 10, Task Manager will also include the ability to set the default tab when you open the experience. And this is not new to build 18 317 but on a previous video that I made the option wasn't available on my installation and now it is so if you want to set as your default you simply go to the options menu and then you will now see a new set default tab and then just select the one you want and to test it out I'm just going to select service and I'm going to open it again and that should open as you can see on the uh, services tab and that's pretty much all that's new on Windows 10, build 18.3.17. If you want to learn even more stuff about this flag, click the link in the video description below. And just remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.